Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, to make this card I use the stamp set Timeless Tropical and I'll be using the big flower, the small flower, the palm trees and the sentiment May Your Birthday Be Memorable. Um, you'll need some masks if you're going to make this to cover the flowers when you stamp the trees. Um, for this card I've used a card base of 8 and quarter by 5 and 7 eighths, scored at 4 and 1 eighth and burnished. I've got a piece of um, timeless texture, no, timeless texture, uh, soft suede at 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths and I've got two pieces of card at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. One of them I am just going to chop down because I never cut it down to three and three quarters by five and a half. I've actually got the new Stampin' Up Trimmer, which I haven't used yet. Should really get it out. It's still in its box. Right, and that will go on top of there. So why is that not? Let's just check the size of this. Five and five eighths. So that should be five and a half. It's a little bit too big. That's it. Didn't quite cut it small enough. So to recap, a white card base, a piece of soft suede at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And a piece of white card stock at five and a half by three and three quarters. And obviously, I put a piece in the middle, you don't have to, and that is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Sit properly on the chair. Right, to get started, we are going to stamp on this. We'll need a piece of paper because we're going to stamp off. Now I'm going to be using soft suede to do my outlines. So let's put this card where I can see what I'm doing. So with the big stamp, ink it up really well and we're going to place that in the corner. like that and we're going to turn it round turn the stamp round as well and stamp that in the corner so it's like that right then we're going to get some masks and we're going to mask these off if I can remember the way they should be, that's it. I want them, that's it. And I've got another one here, and this one. Like that. And then with our little flower, I'm going to put one to the side and one to the side here and we're going to put two to the side here so what we need to do is put that there and then place a mask on that flower as well 
and stamp that in between the two. Like that. Now, we also need to mask off these for the next round. Finding the right way it masks. Do. Right, and we're going to change to Old Olive. Right, with this, we're just going to ink up the ferns. We don't need the trunk, but it doesn't matter if you get ink on the trunk. And we're just going to place that over the flower to give it some greenery. Now who says that you have to use leaves for your greenery? Right, I'm going to take this mask off and place it over that one. And all I'm doing is going round and placing my greenery around my flowers. Right then, if you've got any, like here, there's bits of white card sticking out. So what I'm going to do is Hopefully cover them with some green and a little bit there and there's a little bit there. That's it. And take all our masks off and you can see we have got our flowers surrounded by sorry about that but the phone one of them stupid scan calls from my internet service that's that right what we've got to do now is our sentiment which we'll do in black and Stamp that there. Nice. All right, all we got to do now is on oh no. I'm going to stamp the inside and all I'm going to put is happy birthday. So, do that and just stamp happy, yep, happy birthday inside. In fact, I'm going to do a flower on the inside as well, one of the little ones. Never did it on the other one, but I'll do it on this one. And just stamp it down. Put a mask on. Change the ink. Grab a tree. And put some I'm trying to keep me paper as clean as possible because I'm doing quite a bit of filming today. Nice. In fact, 
Let's just fill that bottom bit in. It's got a bit of the um, trunks. Just to protect me card. That's better. Right. Right, to colour these flowers in, all I used was Petal Pink Light, Petal Pink Dark and a little bit of Lovely Lipstick this? Yeah, Lovely Lipstick Light So, with our Dark Petal Pink, all I did was where it was shaded And then these, uh, I don't know what they are, but the lines I did it in pink. Right. Just roughly colour these in and that's all I did. And I think my pen's running out. Got a reinker for this one. Need to check. Right, that's that. And then with the light, we'll, we'll colour the whole thing in. take long to colour this in.
sitting there concentrating and not talking. Terrible that. That's the main flowers caught. Right, with the lovely list, it, all I did was just did a little circle on the smaller flowers and then on the bigger flowers I just went round the don't know what that thing's called in the middle like that then I got some flirty flamingo light and just went out a bit on the lovely lipstick rubbed it in a bit rubbed it in blended it in a bit We colour in the um, the bud thing, <laughs> and I did that in Daffodil to Light. And ow, the stalk bit that comes out of it, I just did it in Mossy Meadow. And that is how I created the front of this card. Oh, I never did this bit. Let's do this bit. Bit of pink. And then a bit of flirty flamingo. base and glue this onto the soft suede now you're thinking brown on a card but brown seem to have made the leaves pop better or the flowers pop better than black well I think they did on our card base and drop this inside I'm 
and then we just have to add some gems. Find them. I put them all over the place. Right. I put two there, one underneath. One down here, one over here, and one over here. So that's four, five, six, seven, that odd number. And there we have it. A lovely card from the um, Timeless Tropical Stamp Set. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Yeah, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.